Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and today it's Topic Thursday. Now Topic is a series that I do on Tuesdays and Thursdays where I take a comment in the comment section and talk about it, I talk about a topic. And I've got a good one today, I've got a good one. First off, I want to t tell you guys what, what, what's going on here. So look, all the other ones are normal, the LEDs, but this one is just going mental. What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, so yeah, I've got a cool topic today, which I've seen a lot of people say or you know comment in the comment section, and it's a, it's a big, it's a big one. Okay, it's a big one, and I'll show you guys. Let's have a look. I think I've seen one of them here. Nick's, it's Nick Smith, right? He said here, definitely do a cable management video on the tech channel. By the way, love your vids. Now. A cable management video, doing it on the tech channel, all my videos on the tech channel are very professional and they're professional, put it that way. I put a lot of effort into those, they're not, I'm not uploading that channel a lot because all the videos take a lot of time to edit and work on. To do a cable management video, I'm best off just doing it in vlog style and showing you guys what I've got going on. So as you can see, the desk from the front is pretty cableless. Obviously, it's a bit messy. I've been to the gym, got a protein shake there. My keys, my everything is, you know, out on the desk. But what I'm saying is that there's no visible cables from any sort of reasonable viewing angle when you are working at this setup. There's no cables. And the thing is, with cable management, you need to realise that cables are a thing. If you guys want to sell, there's going to be cables. You're never going to get rid of them. Well, the best thing you can do is hide them. And I'm going to show you guys my tips on how to hide them. Now, I know a lot of you have come and found me from setups and stuff, so hopefully a lot of you find this interesting. If you do, a live rating will be much appreciated. But for now, I'm going to take you guys under my desk. Actually, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to show you guys my keyboard first. Because, as a lot of you guys know, I use a wired mouse and keyboard. And you're like, Alex, there's no cables. It looks wireless. And that is because, well, if you pull the keyboard back, what you do here is take a nice big chunky drill bit, put a hole underneath your keyboard in your desk, and boom! There you go. Put your cables under there. I've even got a USB 3 extension cable. A lot of you guys know my computer's in the other room. So, you know, when I want to plug like a little USB thumb drive in or my memory card reader that I've got here, if I want to plug it in, instead of having to get up and go around there, I've also got just like a little USB 3 extension cable, which is really handy. So that is, that is that. That's how I do that bit. Anyway, that's a, just a little nifty way to hide the mouse and keyboard wires. So let, let's get under the desk and I'll show you guys what I've got going on under there. Right, so I'm now under my desk. The rest of this video is probably going to take place under here, so enjoy. Anyway, so as you can see under here, there's LED strips, there's lots of cables. Let's show you guys how I keep them up tied to the desk. Now I've got some good do's and don'ts here, so let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you guys. Right, first off, I know a lot of people say, Alex, I like your LEDs, I've bought some myself, I try, I've tried to stick them to my desk or wherever you try to stick them, and the sticky's not good enough, they just fall off. Okay, I've got a tip for that as well in a second, so give me a sec, because let's talk about the cables first. So this is one of the, one of the things, this is the main method that I use, and it's the best method in the world, it's probably the cheapest method. Don't go out and buy stupid things that, are, that say they're going to keep your cables up and the sticky things that you put on. Just do this, okay? What you need to do is get one of these little things here, you see these little things, what you're meant to do with these is actually put cables inside of them and nail them up to the wall, right? We don't want to do that because the whole point about a setup, they're always work in progress, so you're always going to be changing things in your setup, you want maybe want new cables, cables can die, cables can go wrong, you want to change cables, you want to add cables, don't buy these and nail cables straight to the wall. What you want to do is buy these and put these up along your desk, right? So along the back spine of your desk. This is only applicable to wooden desks, by the way, because that's what I have. And then what you do is you get what's called a twist tie. Now these are little metal twisty things like this, as you can see, you can bend them in all sorts of all sorts of shapes, you can twist them and do all stuff like that. And what you do is you simply put it through the hole in the uh, cable management thing you've, you've stacked in the wall. I forget what these things are actually called, by the way. I don't know what they're called, but you guys will be able to find them somewhere. I'll try and drop a link in the description to all the things I use for cable management. So, and then you just you run, run, the, run the twist tie through that. And then what you can do is actually twist tie your cables to the twist tie. And now doing it this way lets you take cables out easily by untwisting it. It lets you add new cables. So I could put another cable in there and twist it on like that. And... You can take cables out and you know you can troubleshoot and it makes things a lot easier. So as you can see, I've done this throughout the full duration of the desk. I've got another one here right in the middle where the massive hive of cables are. As you can see, all the cables that are going in the same direction are grouped together. 
So that's another thing. If you've got cables that are going in the same direction, you want them going through the same cable management route, okay? Because it makes things a lot easier. So as you can see, all the things that come over this side of the desk are all at the front, all visible to me, all twist tied together. I don't have it, some cables, you know, this side, or and some this side, they're all the same side, so I can see all of the cables. As you can see, all these cables here, all going in the same direction, they all follow the same cable management route. It makes things a lot more cleaner and a lot more, you know, better to set up. Now, going on to that LED thing which I was talking about, how to keep the LEDs up, if you're nailing into wood, use, use some of these again, these things, these things that I was talking about with the cable management, focus camera, those things on the thing, just nail them in and run your LEDs through them and boom, they will stick to wood and you're fine. So that is my few tips for cable management. Let's go in here, let's get out of here and go into this room and I'll try and show you guys in here. So this is obviously the server room. Um, I've got my computer and NAS up there, all the network stuff for the whole house, all the AV equipment here. And as you can see here, I've got all the cables grouped together. So I've got cable ties around, as you can see there's a cable tie there. Keeps all the cables together, keeps them all in one place, and it looks a lot more tidy. If I didn't have them cable tied together and I had, you know, one cable over there, and you know, cables, you know, just, just everywhere, it wouldn't look, wouldn't look half as good. But because they're all together, all the cables are grouped together, all the cables that have got the same start and end location are grouped together, it makes it look a lot more, you know, clean. Just having that one thing, one strand of cables coming down there. You could even, you know, put some cable trunking there and hide all of those, but I just don't think it's necessary. Same with this as well. Like, all the cables down here all run in the same direction. I don't have to cables going down, you know, that side in the middle and then that side. Now they all run down the same side, so I know where all the cables are and it just looks a lot more clean. Now, if you look down here, yes, this is a mess, but there's no point in cleaning that up because when you walk into the room, you physically can't see that. Like, even if you look down, all you can see is the Xbox. All you have to do to look at that is, you know, you have to go on your knees to look down there. So, you know, you're going to have cables. There's going to be some part of your setup where there's going to be cables, like, messy, and there's no point in cleaning it. But that's fine. You only want it clean where, you know, where you're going to be sitting down in your setup. Where you're going to be sitting down, where you're going to be, you know, sat or looking at your actual setup to admire it. That's from the two locations you don't want to see cables. Hopefully that makes sense. Like... If you get on your knees, if I get on my knees in my room, you know, I'll be able to see under the desk and I'll be able to see the cables. But when I'm sat here, working, I can't see no cables, even when I step back to admire the setup. You know, I'm, like, I'm not literally right in the corner of my room right now, and you can't see any cables. And that is it, that's the top and bottom of it. You're gonna have cables, you need to do your best with them and just come up with some inventive ways. Everyone's setup's different, I know that. But there are just a few of my tips, so guys, that's how I do it. That's literally how I do it. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it's been useful to you. If it has a like rate, it would be much appreciated. My name is Blanche. You guys have been awesome. If you guys want to drop a new topic for Topic Tuesday next week, then drop it in the comment section down below. Make sure you put Topic in front of it and then a colon and then your topic. But yeah, that's been it. My name is Blanche. You guys have been awesome. I'm going to carry on with these daily vlogs and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Adios, guys.